Welcome back. It's a pleasure to have Amy Calder visiting us in the TV5 Book Club. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me, now, Brian. I think a lot of people will recognize uh, your name from your bylines. You've been uh, a reporter for right. for many years. 35 years. Uh, 35 yes, years. Yes. Uh, writing uh, for a long time. And at what point did you think, geez, Maybe some of this stuff that I'm writing about would be would make a good book. Maybe I want to write a book. When did that pop into your head? Well, you know, I've been a news reporter for 35 years, covering mostly city government and you know economic development and mm -hmm. uh, schools and um, murders, fires, accidents, crime, the same type of things that you folks could do. Uh, but I was asked about 15 years ago to write a feature column, and I thought I would focus more on you know human interest things, nothing that I was covering in the news. So that there would be no conflict of interest. So um, I read a feature, feature column that comes out every week, and along the way, people said to me, readers said, hey, you should really put these in a book. Mm -hmm. uh, so I got together with Island Port Press in Yarmouth a couple of years ago, and they selected about 70 columns, and um, and the book is in three parts. The first part is growing up in the 50s and 60s in Skowhegan, and the second part is on the beat, interesting people that I meet you know, during the during the process of doing the news. And then the third part is the people that I meet along the way. Um, and I'm, I was pleasantly surprised that it's become pretty popular. Um, so that's how the book came to be. You see it there, Comfort is an old barn, stories from the heart of Maine. Uh, I, you know, you, you kind of just detailed the, the three maybe facets of the book, but what are some of the things that we'll encounter as we uh, thumb through the pages here? Well, you will see uh, the first part, you'll read about my growing up in Skowhegan. You know, I lived in the country, we rode horses, we skated, we sled, you know, we um, uh, just hung out in the woods and played and just had a great time. Um, and a lot of people from my era sort of relate to that. And so you'll see that. And then the second part, you might read something about the way the newsroom used to be 30 years ago mm -hmm. as opposed to now. Um, just interesting things that I've come across. And then the last part are characters that I've come across just uh, people doing fascinating things or you know, giving to others or homeless people, that kind of thing. Certainly no shortage of characters uh, yes. in the great state of Maine. Uh, you know, as a woman who, who writes these, these articles and sends them out into the world, were you surprised by what resonated with people through the years and what maybe someone else saw as like, ooh, that's fascinating, and you think, well, it's just old hat for me, you know? Exactly, yeah. I, was pl I thought, you know, if I sell five books, I'll be happy, and I, I'm just really happily surprised at the response. It's been really fun. I've been on a book tour, you know, speaking at libraries and historical societies and bookstores and various places, and people are just wonderful. If, I someone, love it. if somebody wants to, to pick up the book, or where yeah. can they uh, acquire it? Quickest way, I think, online is islandportpress.com. Um, you can get it at Barnes & Noble. You can get it at all the Sherman's bookstores. Uh, yeah. Islandportpress.com, uh, right. a nice spot there. So, okay, so this one's out. Uh, so what comes next? Play yourself in the movie? Uh, you know, <laughs> what do you think? It's 70 articles over 35 years, certainly a lot yeah. more to work with there. Uh, I think another book, or what do we possibly, go from here? Possibly, possibly, yeah. I'm going to continue reporting. I really enjoy that very much. And, um, you know, my husband says, when are you going to retire? And I said, why would I retire from something that I love doing so much? So, so I'll keep working and maybe another book. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you so much. It's been thank a pleasure. You. I look my forward pleasure. to uh, our next uh, meeting at the, when, the, when the sequel comes out. Uh, <laughs> if you, you want to see an interview like this again or some of the other fascinating things that we do here at uh, WABI.TV, yeah, I'll be so boastful to say this was a fascinating interview.